Hi everyone and welcome to the Easy Crypto monthly update for August. In terms of the majors, Bitcoin and Ethereum were tracking to about where they were at the start of the month before last weekend's news it was heavily sold off last over the weekend as you would have noticed and that was pretty much because of the macro climate. Federal bankers got together at Jackson Hole and came out and said that inflation is their number one goal and they're going to stay uh, steadfast and that's it resolve. Turning to other trends, once again we saw a bunch more buys than we did sells at least four times. We also did something different, so we surveyed our staff to see what they're all doing in, the, in this crypto winter that we're in. Fully 50% of us are dollar cost averaging into certain assets at the moment and the rest of us are doing a little bit of lump sum investing as it comes up. The, uh, in terms of what we're doing with our portfolio, most of us tend to split it, so there's quite a bit of hodling involved, and the rest of it we're putting into DeFi or CeFi stuff to earn yields on it as well. Uh, and there are a small portion of us are actively trading, sort of 15% of our, our people. This month's bolter was EOS. They had a big announcement that they were going to be hard forking the chain and they were going to put a whole bunch of funds into developing an ecosystem around that. And it was up about as much as 80% in the month. Uh, that hard fork is scheduled for sometime around mid-September. Again, looking at what you buy, all buying, it's predominantly the layer one least speculative assets, so Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, and ADA. Uh, within the month, there were a couple of interesting boulders. QNT came in and, and went on a mini run, and so obviously did EOS. And when you're selling, it's predominantly stable coins. The big things that we thought happened this month, there were three things. The Ethereum merge has continued to be really positive with a date scheduled for around the 15th of September. BlackRock is getting into Bitcoin, so offering uh, Bitcoin services selectively to its high net worth clients. They are the biggest asset manager in the world, and so we had the continuing effects of the Tornado Cash uh, sanctioning from our OFAC in America. So that's it for this month's news. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.